Okay, it's Thai Vlog 12, March the 28th to April the 3rd. In this episode, what are we going to talk about? Well, we're going to talk about roads. We're going to talk about uh, Manchester United. We're going to talk about a movie called England is Mine. And also uh, teenagers. And maybe a few other things. Let's get started. Right, well, uh, one of the daily hazards here when you are driving is the state of the roads. Now, uh, I've been relatively lucky, but uh, come last Sunday, I was on my way to work, and then all of a sudden you get that dreadful noise where you know that something isn't right with your car as it proceeds to bounce along the road with difficulty. Yep, I'd got a puncture. Now, on a Sunday morning at half past seven, I can tell you, with the humidity intense and being my age and having a dodgy jack, this is the last thing you want. However, one of my uh, students parents came to my rescue and he appeared after about 45 minutes following a call to the school and he then proceeded not to jack the car up and put the spare on oh no to go to a garage and so a so-called technician that's what they call them here a technician arrived on a motorbike with a jack uh, and proceeded to change the wheel that was one class down god knows how much money lost but we were there and uh, a, a second lesson i was able to uh, do uh, admittedly with only a handful of students so the secret is well, there is no secret. If you have a car, this will happen. Uh, it's happened now uh, three times in the last six months to me. The standard of roads here is absolutely shocking. And when they do repair the roads, they usually choose the wrong section, as they did last week. Oh, what it is to be a member of this government. Okay, let's move on then. Uh, Let's have a look at uh, some more action here in Thailand. And uh, I was interested to read about uh, a ruling in the Thai courts last week concerning uh, a, a rights activist, Andy Hale, um, who's a, a British, who uh, decided that he was going to pursue... Uh, a company um, regarding their dreadful labor practices and uh, he ended up uh, be giving an interview to Al Jazeera about this Thai company and the appalling standard of uh, working conditions and the dreadful uh, salaries that they were offering well, guess what? This company decided to use the infamous defamation law here in Thailand. And last week, the said court uh, ruled on this uh, defamation claim and agreed that the company should be paid uh, an amount of 10 million bar in damages by the said Andy Hale. Now, to get you some sort of perspective of what 10 million bar is, it's about uh, 250,000 pounds, which here is an awful lot of money. Mr. Hale isn't in the country, and I guess he's not likely to make much uh, haste to return, but it really is a sham. Now, to go along with this, uh, I also noticed that in Facebook, they have a sort of breakfast club group 
uh, which looks at uh, Thai food and Thai restaurants in Thailand. And last week, apparently, there was a real fuss because a restaurant took umbrage to some criticism from a Facebook user and now has decided to, yes, get that defamation uh, law uh, ready. And he has taken his case uh, seeking enormous damages uh, against the Facebook user who has made some negative comments about his restaurant and Facebook now have got uh, frightened and uh, refused to name the restaurant oh dear dear so you have been warned if you come here be careful what you say because they get very 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 upset well let's move on shall we okay in the last part of this first part uh, I want to continue with uh, a Thai topic on April the 1st and we all know what April the 1st is yes it's April Fool's Day lots of pranks and I nearly got caught with one on April the 1st when I read in uh, on my internet in a, a Thai visa uh, website that uh, the military government had imposed a ban on the use of the game Connect 4 because they had put uh, plainclothes policemen uh, into the bars in Padia and a policeman had observed money changing hands between a punter, uh, a farang, a European, and a Thai bar girl working when they were playing Connect Four. Now, initially, I thought, well, maybe this is the case. But after uh, about a half an hour, I realised that it was an April Fool. A very amusing one, I might add, and not beyond the bounds of possibility here. So there we are. Uh, we will wait the next amusing anecdote. Okay, that's part one.